Well, welcome to Hot Topics. You know, the holidays are over now, and we're ready to produce some uh, more of these videos for you. Uh, again, we'll keep uh, these videos coming to you based on the 2023 NEC, and we'll pick out a handful of uh, good changes that we feel like you'll like for us to produce for you. For example, in this video, we're going to discuss uh, peninsulas and islands and uh, how many receptacles are required per 2020 NEC and then what would be required by the uh, uh, 2023 NEC and see if there was any relief provided for you folks that are installing these receptacles. Now to start with, on the screen, let's look at NEC 2020 figure number one. And of course, we have the title head here, Item 2, Island and Peninsula Countertops and Work Surfaces. Now, the requirement is that receptacle outlets should be installed in accordance with 210.52C2A and C2B. Now, A reads at least one receptacle outlet shall be installed for the first nine square foot or fractional thereof of the countertop or work surface. A receptacle outlet shall be provided for every additional 18 foot or square foot or fractional thereof of the countertop or work space. Now, B reads at least one receptacle should be installed within the two-foot area of the outer end of the peninsula countertop or work surface. Additional required receptacle outlets should be permitted to be located is determined by the installer, designer, or the building owner. The location of the receptacle outlets naturally have to be in accordance with 210.52C3. Now that's the uh, 2020 edition and uh, exactly, you know, what would uh, be required there. So now we want to uh, pick up now our uh, illustration that deals with countertop workspaces in accordance with 210.52C and C1. And of course, this would be uh, uh, in accordance with the 2020 NEC. Now notice we have a countertop here at the very top of the illustration with a wall behind it. But the uh, peninsula does not have a wall behind it or in front, and neither does the island. Now, how they determined the number of receptacles by the 2020 NEC, look at the method one at the right-hand side, top of the illustration. Our countertop measures four foot by eight foot. So when we do the math, that's 32 square foot. The first nine foot, one plug. The next 18 square foot, one plug. And then the next five that's over 9 and 18, we come up with one plug. So adding them together, the answer would be three plugs required as outlined and required in 210.52C2. Now, some electricians in the field would just use a quick calc. This method two, left-hand bottom side of the illustration. And after we did the math, naturally we're coming up with 32 square foot. And then 32 square foot minus 9, you'd have 83 square foot left. And they just divide that by the uh, divider, 18, and that would be a plug. So 9 square foot, 1 plug, 18, 1. Then you had left over 1.27, uh, so we need 1 plug uh, there. So that'd give us 3. And that's just a quick calc. But uh, I think the more proper method would be the method one is what we would use. And then notice uh, we could uh, place a face-up receptacle, a uh, listed type that you push down. It'd be smooth uh, as possible with the countertop. Push it, it'd pop back up. Or you could uh, measure down, you know, 12 inches with a 6-inch overhang and put a receptacle. And, and we could do that, but we had to have three. And you couldn't use a multi-outlet assembly 
would have three plugs on it and, and place it. Uh, the code didn't allow us to do that. So this is using the concept and requirements of the 2020 NEC. Now, uh, kind of going forward, notice that we have figure two, the NEC 2023, title head now, item two, island and peninsula countertops and workspaces. And it reads, receptacle outlets, if installed, serve an island or peninsula countertop or work surface shall be installed in accordance with 210.52 C as in car 3. If a receptacle outlet is not provided to, an, uh, say, to serve an island or peninsula countertop or workspace, provision shall be provided at the island or peninsula for future additions of a receptacle outlet to serve the island or peninsula countertop or work surface. So now you can see with this new requirement of item two, you don't have to put a receptacle there. If I'm the owner, I say, of the dwelling unit, and I tell you, no, I don't, I don't want a receptacle there. The builder says, we don't want a receptacle there. The manufacturer or produce the, uh, make the cabinets or islands or peninsula. They said, no, we don't want a, a, a receptacle there either. So now we can just say, okay, we're going to, uh, let you have your wish. We just want, we'll just have means to put one there later if you should decide you want one. And that's what uh, this uh, 2023 edition does. It gives us a little relief that it's not a requirement for receptacle there, but shows you, yeah, you could put one there or you could put a listed assembly in accordance to 250.52 C3 item 3. Uh, you could have provisions for a future outlet to be added, and you wouldn't have to have an outlet there. You would have to have the outlets now with a countertop with a wall behind it. But notice that's a, a big uh, a big change. It gives you a, a, a relief from what we previously had to do by the uh, 2020 NEC. Now, notice in figure three now, and looking at the text, uh, item three, receptacle outlet location. Receptacle outlet should be located in one or more of the following. One or more. On or above, but not more than 20 inches above a countertop or workspace. And a countertop using a receptacle outlet assemblies listed for use in countertops. Then in a work surface, using receptacle out assemblies listed for use and work surfaces are listed for uses in countertops. So item one's above, item two is in the countertop, item three is in the work surface. So we get a feel for the receptacle outlet location, and then we get the means of how we have to produce an outlet, or we don't have to produce an outlet, just uh, wiring for future use if we wanted to add a receptacle or the owner or, and so forth and that's in uh, uh, item two so we can pick that up and then of course when you uh, look at item three the receptacle outlet location then the paragraph below it it, it talks about receptacle outlets rendered not readily accessible uh, by uh, appliances fastened in place, uh, appliances, garages, sinks, or count, uh, range tops that are covered really in 210.52C1, and we're reviewing the exception number one, or appliances occupying assigned spaces shall not be considered as these required outlets. So these outlets could be present, but they wouldn't be considered the required outlets. And then if we wanted some additional helpful information, then the informational note number one to item three, receptacle outlet location, refers you to 406.5E as an ed for installations of receptacles and countertops. And in section 406.5F for installation of receptacles and workspaces, 
Then 380.10 for the installation of multi-outlet assemblies, we go to 380.10 and review it and see what is allowed. Uh, if you like these videos, well, give me a thumbs, thumbs up and I recommend them to some of your uh, friends out in the field if, they, uh, if, if you feel like they'd be beneficial to them. And uh, I uh, thank you again for watching this video. My name is James Gray Stalkup, and again, thank you very much.